Hello, this is Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited that you're here with me today because I have been shopping on Amazon and for those of you who have not been there recently, there are wonderful summer clothes out there and they're very inexpensive. I'm going to show you a lot of casual summer clothes, some kind of dressed up summer clothes, and then at the very end of my video, I have something very special to share with you. I really cannot believe that I bought this particular outfit on Amazon and you'll know why after you see that part of the video. This is my first outfit and it is some Levi's 721 jeans. Here they are. And Angie of Hot and Flashy really does like these jeans, and I like them too. However, I really prefer the Levi 721. It really depends on how curvy you are. If you're a little curvier, I noticed that the 721s have a little bit more in the butt area. It's a little bit loose back here for me. I don't have much of a butt. So if you've got a little more in the back end, I would say the 721s would be great. They have a little bit of stretch to them, a little bit of lycra, and so they really do hug your curves. And I'm wearing the 26, which I believe is a four, in the 30 inch length, and I believe they also have this in a 32, but that was too long for me. And I really do like this little top. It's just a little swing top with a little spaghetti strap here. I really like it that it has the little bra adjustment here to where you can adjust this up or down. It's just a little casual summer top. I really like the embroidery. I wondered if it would look cheap, but it really doesn't. It looks rather rich and rather boho, which I like. There's a look at the whole outfit, and this little top comes in many different colors, and the jeans also come in many different colors as well. Okay, this is another jeans outfit. These are skinny ankle jeans. These are about 30 inches long, and there's a lot of good length there for me. Again, it's in a size four. And this is a little lycra top, and I should not have a black bra on with it. Probably a cream colored bra would have been better. It is a little bit see-through, but I think if you had a cream colored bra, you would be just fine and you would not see that. I have it kind of looped up here. I've used a little hair tie here to just give that a little bit of a tuck to give myself a little bit of a waist. It has a racer back, which I think is very attractive and you can wear it all the way out here. It's a little more casual looking that way. I think this is a great top for when you're out shopping. You just want to look neat and tidy and pull together, but like you didn't try too hard. I think this is just a wonderful everyday outfit. Okay, these are black Bermuda shorts and these are Lee relaxed fit Bermuda shorts. And I really think they're rather figure flattering. They are jean shorts, which I really think everybody needs a good pair of black denim jean shorts. These are a wonderful pair and I believe they're under $30. And then I've paired it with this little swing top, which is black and white. And I really do think it helps one look a little more put together sometimes, maybe when you're feeling a little heavy, a little bloated, something like that, just to wear all one dark color. And I think that even though this is a casual outfit, with it all being black, it has a little bit more of a formal kind of a, I tried to put myself together a little more kind of a look. I just think this is absolutely darling. I've got it with flats but actually a little bit of a wedge would be nice. I ordered some from Amazon, but they're not in yet. The wedge just would help you look a little taller, a little leaner. I really do like this outfit. It is casual, but a little more pulled together. Now, here's a little black maxi halter dress, and I really do like this one. And in my opinion, we all need that basic long dress we can wear to a pool party or out to dinner, something like that. It is very, very cool. It is polyester and cotton, and the cotton just gives it that smooth feel. Feels just like a handkerchief, baby soft. Absolutely a beautiful feel to this dress. There's a look at the side and the back, and it just has a little bit of a scoop neck in the front, so it's very basic and yet very flattering. And I really like this umpire waist because it tends to pull you in in the waist and give you a little bit of an hourglass. Although it is not sexy and out there, it's just very subtle and elegant looking. I think if you're in the market for a nice black maxi dress, this may be a good one to consider. Now here is another take on the basic black summer easy breezy dress. This is 75% polyester, 25% cotton. It really feels good on. I think the cotton gives it a really nice smooth feeling. It is a halter style, which looks good on most women. There it is in the back. You can see a little bit of the back of your shoulder. And as you can see, it has a little curved hem on the bottom in the front and in the back. 
And I just think that gives it kind of a special look, makes it look a little unusual, a little fashion forward. I really do love this dress and I can see myself wearing this quite a lot this summer. Okay, here's another basic black dress. This one is a little less form-fitting than the last one. It's also a little bit shorter. I'm not sure I love the length, but if you like a little shorter dress, a little above the knee, this is a very good one. It's 95% rayon with just a little bit of spandex, about 5% spandex, and it is not tight at all. There is a look at the back. Again, it has the adjustable bra straps. This is a great little dress that can be dressed up or down. It's a wonderful dress if you're just running around town and you just want to look that much more special. Now, this is a wonderful work dress, a great day-to-day -day career dress, or a cocktail dress, actually. It is just made out of polyester, but it looks very rich to me. And I saw it on a lot of women because this was very highly rated. And I love Amazon because you see many different women in each style of, of dress. And no matter how curvy the woman was, how much weight she had on her, she felt like a million bucks in this. And it was so nice to see even very heavy set, very curvy women kind of rocking this dress. And you could tell by their comments and by the look on their faces, they just really felt wonderful about themselves. And that's what this dress does for you. It's just got a little bit of va va voom to it. It's got a ruched area across the tummy, which really helps our tummy look a little better because I've got a little tummy there, but you can't really see it. And this ruffle helps hide that area as well. And it gives you a really nice kind of a mini hourglass shape. And this really helps because it gives your shoulders a little more heft than they would have ordinarily. There it is from the side. Absolutely a wonderful cocktail dress or a very fancy career dress. It comes in many different colors, including black. And so I'll show you that one next. Okay, here that same dress is in black and it's quite a bit more formal looking in black. With the red, it's a little bit of a va va voom dress. And if you go to the website, you'll see a sports caster who had the red on in one of the review pictures and it's just beautiful. But I really think this would be a fabulous dress to wear to a formal wedding something like that, a nice evening wedding or to a funeral, as sad as that would be. But I just think every woman needs a basic black dress and with the ruching and this ruffle, it just pulls you in and gives you a beautiful hourglass figure. It's really a very, very stunning dress. There it is from the side. And I do have a tummy, but you really can't see that in this dress. Absolutely a beautiful dress. And I would wear this with a nude shoe and I believe, again, this was around $30. I'll put the prices below and the sizes. But if you need a really basic little black dress, I think this is a pretty great one. Okay, I really, really like this dress. And again, I think it was about $30. And to me, it has a little bit of that Pretty Woman vibe. Remember the brown and white polka dot dress she wore in Pretty Woman? I absolutely love this. It was extremely highly rated. I love it that it has the little diagonal shaped skirt with the little flip ruffle here, and it's got a little self-tie belt. However, some people used a black leather belt with it, and it looked really, really good. It has the halter top, which I think is very flattering on most of us, and there it is in the back. Absolutely darling. It's just a little bit longer in the back than in the front. I think this would be absolutely perfect for church or for a summer wedding, something like that. I just think it's absolutely darling, and really in the pictures it was flattering on pretty much every body type. If you don't have curves, it gives you curves, and if you have too much in the way of curves, it kind of calms them down and skims them out. Absolutely a lovely dress. If you have any kind of summer occasion coming up, this might be a really good bet. I got this dress on Amazon, and I believe it was under $30. Many of the dresses on Amazon are under $30, under $40 for sure. And they really are just darling, and I love it that you can read the reviews. This one was very highly rated. It's just a little flippy dress. You can see my bra there. Keep my hair in front of that. But I really liked the floral print on this. It is a dark navy blue with pink and orange flowers. Really like that. Forgive the uh, white legs. I have not been using my self-tanner on my legs, but there it is in the front. And in the back, it's got a little bit of a racer back, which I really like. And while it does give you a little bit of shape, it's not totally tight. Really like that. I'm wearing it in a small. Now, this next dress, I am not totally sure what I think about. No, on second thought, I do know what I think about it. I think that here in Kansas, this might be difficult to pull off, I have to admit. It's got a very strange shape to it. See this? Both sides go out 
like this. Very odd. I've never seen a dress like that ever in my life. But I have to admit that on the beachy vacations I've gone to in the past, Cabo, Cancun, something like that, I would have absolutely loved to have this dress because it is kicky, it is fun, it is a little unusual, it is very, very casual, looks great with flats, it's got some color to it. I think the floral print is absolutely adorable. I think it is a really cute dress for going out to dinner after a long day at the beach or the pool. I think it is totally resort wear. And I have to admit, it just feels wonderful to be in. It is very, very comfortable. Nothing binds anywhere. There it is in the back. It's just got little simple straps. And they do have the bra adjustments there, so you can pull it up or down. I really have to admit that I do love this dress, although I'm not quite sure where I would wear it. In the comments section below, tell me what you think of it, and if you think I should keep it or send it back. Now, I have to say I must have liked that floral dress when I saw it on Amazon because here it is. I ordered it in black as well, and there it is. It has that same very odd shape, the same little spaghetti straps. I, again, think this would be great for resort wear. In fact, if I were going to someplace beachy this year, I would probably keep both of these dresses because I know I would really, really enjoy them. I'm not sure if I'll keep either of them. And if I do keep them, it will be not because I'm going anywhere this summer that I can wear them to, but because I'm optimistic that next year COVID will end and we can get back to traveling again. Okay, my next outfit is a little black tank dress. It is lycra and polyester, mostly polyester. It would travel just beautifully if you happen to be traveling any time over this summer. I know most of us aren't traveling much lately, but hopefully we'll get back into that in the fall and maybe the next spring or summer, I hope. But it is a black little tank dress, very classic looking dress, very simple. It kind of skims over your curves. I don't have any Spanx on, and yet it's not showing any panty lines or anything like that. It has a nice little slit down here, but it's a very modest slit. It just kind of helps you walk and it really is not up to the thigh or anything like that. Very, very modest. I have some platform shoes with it that I just got at DSW yesterday. I really needed some of those. If you're in the market for a black tank dress, just something very basic, there's a look at the back there, very pretty, a little bit of a racer back there. I think this is a great summer dress that would be wonderful on an evening out at a restaurant or even just hanging out at your house. Okay, now let's get into some swimsuits. And I really, really like this one. This is a retro one. And I love the way the younger women have a different colored top versus a different colored bottom. This is polka dots, as you can tell. Very, very retro, I'm falling over here. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you though is this wonderful swim cover-up. I need to cut that off. But basically, this comes in a two-pack of swim skirts and they are very sheer, as you can tell, but they do cover things up nicely. And I really like this form of cover-up versus a shirt cover-up. A lot of people like the shirts because it's good for sun protection. However, I am crazy about avoiding the sun. I am always, you know, using an umbrella, going out to the pool, getting under the first umbrella I find, really concentrating on keeping out of the sun. And in my real life, I never bear this part of my body. You might have noticed that on my videos, but I like high necks and for some reason, I just don't like to bear this part of my body except at the swimming pool. And so at the swimming pool, to give myself a little more of a feeling of, this is a different life, I'm free, I can show the top of my body, then I do like these swim cover-ups. I wish that wasn't there, sorry about that. I need to cut that off. But anyway, you just take the little skirt off and then I'll show you the little retro suit. And I noticed that there were a lot of suits on Amazon this year that had this exact same print. It had the polka dots on the bottom, the black and white polka dots, or blue and white or whatever. And then it had the red top. And as you can tell by that top, it's a little structured bra top, very, very retro looking, ties around the neck. In the back there, it's got two little bands in the back, really cute, absolutely a darling swimsuit, something a little different. And the thing I like about it too is that it really is kind of a one piece with a two piece feel. And as we girls get a little bit older, it is nice to be in the one piece, but it feels young sometimes to have a little bit of a two piece feel. And this is a two-piece, but it does keep us very covered up. And it does have ruching here in the tummy area, 
which totally keeps things nice and slim looking. And you can pull this up as high as you want. You can really almost make it look like a one piece entirely, or you can pull it down and make it look a little more like a bikini. Absolutely love this one. This one is a keeper for me for sure. Now, for those of you who want a one piece, I absolutely love this one. This is a one piece that's blue up here and black on the bottom, very, very slimming looking. And here is that second part of that two pack of the swim cover-ups. And this is just a little short cover-up, which is tied right there. And then you just untie it. And there is the swimsuit. I'll step back so you can see it better. And it is a very slimming long line. I really like the peekaboo mesh up here because it gives you a little bit of a suggestion of a body and a figure under there. And it is a halter style, which I really like. It is a little bit high cut on the sides, but not too bad at all. A little bit ruched in the tummy area, which is wonderful because it really makes us look longer and leaner in the tummy area. It also has that very fashionable color block look, and it comes in a ton of different colors. Okay, here is my last swimsuit. And again, this is a two piece, but it's really kind of a one piece because it keeps you very, very covered up. And as we girls get to be a little more mature, a little older, it's always nice to cover up as much as we can, but it is nice to kind of have the feel of a two piece. And again, this cover up is from that two pack cover up set. Really do like that. Let's go ahead and take this off and I'll show you this suit. This is a very, very interesting suit. It's very, very retro, kind of cute, I think. It is ruched here in the stomach area and you can bring it up as high as you want. You can make it look like more of a one piece or you can bring it down and make it a little more like a bikini. I don't know if you can see the back, but it's kind of a twisted back there. It's got two little places where it joins in the back and it just wraps around the front. I am wearing a medium. I normally wear an extra small or a small enclosed, but in swimsuits, I always go up because I just really want to have a little more freedom of movement in swimsuits and not be in there like a sausage, which is very easy to do in a swimsuit. If you're looking for something that's a little bit retro, a little bit modern, something a little splashy, this comes in a lot of different colors. It's very comfortable and I really think it's a great suit. Okay. I was going to end that video at swimsuits, but then I realized I forgot about the most important outfit I wanted to show you. And I'll show you that at the end of this video because three other Amazon things just came in last night. I shot the rest of this video yesterday, but since I forgot the very special thing that I'm going to show you, which I can hardly wait to show you, it's kind of like the finale at the end of this video because it's something that's very important to me and i'll get to that in just a few moments but i thought i'd go ahead and just show you three of the tops that just came in and these are again those lee's sculpting jeans and they were absolutely my favorite out of all three the 721 had a little more butt than mine the 711 were really good in terms of the levi's but these are the lee's sculpting jeans and they really look wonderful. They really hold you in. And if you need a little extra help in the tummy area or in the butt area, these really are very nice. Now, this shirt is again from Amazon and it is a little lace shirt, which has a little under layer here. And I just think it's so pretty and lace is really in right now. And it just feels very feminine to wear lace. And the thing I like about it is normally lace is a little too hot for the summer. They actually have a lot of lace tops on Amazon. But again, I've got my typical favorite top, which is the halter neck top. I really do like that neck. And here is a look at the back. Just a really, really nice, very reasonably priced summer top. Now, this is the second top that came in from Amazon, and I really do like this one. It is just a little lingerie style top, and it does have animal print, and my two sons are always making fun of me because they know that I love animal print, and they always say that old ladies like animal print, and maybe that's true because I'm definitely getting up there, but I particularly like this animal print because it is blue and pink. I love pink. And it just looks like a modern take on animal print. And I have this kind of looped up in the front here because it just kind of falls like this otherwise, which looks a little bit heavy to me. And there we go, I'll put that in again. And again, I'm wearing those Lee sculpting jeans. Really, really do love those. Here's a look at that shirt in the back. Also with these shirts that are a little more bare on the front, I got this in from Amazon and I absolutely love this. 
I had seen Lisa Lisa D's video about, I don't remember which video it was, but it was something about glam black dresses and she had something that looked like this on. Of course, hers was in real gold, but I tend to think of things like this as a little bit trendy and I really don't want to invest in gold pieces, but you can kind of get the same look on Amazon and I absolutely love that one. And I looked for probably 45 minutes on Amazon through all of the jewelry that they had to find that. It just has three little gold coins, very, very sparkly. I have no idea how it will wear, but I'm sure I will at least get through the summer on it, which is pretty good for the price. So that is a look at that outfit, and I will definitely be keeping this one. Now, I was just telling you that my two sons really hate it when I wear animal print, and I'd forgotten that the third top was an animal print top, truly an animal print top about as classic animal print as it gets, but I still really, really like animal print. And I'm sorry, Dylan and Colin, you're just gonna have to let your old lady mom be an old lady. So this is another take on a more classic animal print. It has faux buttons down the front. Actually, I think they're real buttons, which is very odd. I still have that same coin necklace on, which I think fills up the decollete area very well. This is a longer length top, which I really do appreciate. There is a look at it in the back there. It's just a racer back top in the back. And I'll show you what it looks like pulled out. I think it's okay, but I really do think it looks better tucked in. Okay, this is my last outfit, and it is the special one that I'm showing you for today. In fact, it is really what started all of the Amazon buying, and then I thought I would do a video and show you this dress, and it just kind of grew from there. But it is a long maxi length dress, and what this is is, I am so excited about this, but this is my mother of the groom dress. My oldest son, Dylan, who is 36 years old, I worried he would never choose someone and get married, but he is marrying his fiance, Melanie, September 12th. Here is a picture of them and oh my, they are so happy. And it is such a joy to see your kids get married and choose somebody so wonderful. Melanie is like a daughter to me. I am not kidding. I am so happy about her. Plus she's, she's even a doctor. My, my son is marrying a doctor. This is the new generation where it's your son or your daughter marrying a doctor. So that makes me proud too that he got such a cute and smart one. But anyway, this is the dress that I'm going to be wearing as the mother of the groom. And this is from Amazon and it is very reasonable in price. And it's so funny because seven years ago, my other son, Colin, my younger son, Colin was married to Emily. And here they are, they're just a darling couple. But when I had to find my dress for their wedding, I went to all the expensive stores. I went to Dillard's, I went to Von Mar. I looked everywhere high and low and I ended up buying like four or five different dresses and I would send pictures to Emily and none of them worked out. And I finally chose a not very attractive orange cocktail dress, orange cocktail dress. That doesn't even sound good, but it really wasn't. And it was like $165. Well, I started looking around on Amazon and I found this and I absolutely love that they have the reviews on there. And I saw this on many different women in many different colors. And I really felt like this was a fabulous dress. Melanie's colors are navy blue and teal. And this is dark navy blue. And I did get the earrings from Amazon and they're just little rhinestone and pearls. They really are very attractive. And I think they'll definitely last <laughs> for that event. And then I went ahead and purchased a little belt here, which is rhinestones. As you can see, I've got to cut off the back because it's very long, I have a tail. But I just thought that the rhinestone belt gave it a little something extra. And, and I will say my hair mysteriously grew in the last three shots. And that's because Irresistible Me sent me a long hair extension. And it is too long, I will be having it chopped off about an inch to be the length of my normal hair. It's a one weft extension and just adds thickness. So if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see that video, just click that little bell and you'll be notified of that and my other future videos all on anti-aging and feeling your best after 50. Well, that was a look at something very special that I bought on Amazon, in addition to a lot of other more normal things. Amazon is absolutely a great place to get pretty much anything, as I know all of you are aware. It's a little frustrating lately because Prime is taking a little longer, but with the situation we're going through, I guess we have to deal with that little disadvantage. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. 
here it is. I make decisions from a place of intuition and power. I make decisions from a place of intuition and power. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and it reminds me right off the bat of something that I did many years ago, and it involved a tile job in our master bath at another house, maybe four houses ago. And you know how they always say you should go with your heart, you should go with that little feeling inside? In this particular case, I remember that we got an estimate from these two guys, and they were kind of weird guys, and I had a really bad feeling about them inside, but their bid was very reasonable, and they could start right away, versus this other guy who couldn't start for two or three weeks and was not quite as reasonable. Well, for some reason, I went ahead and gave these two, come to find out they were bozos, the job. And basically, they started the job, and three days later, I realized that on the backsplash area of the tub, the tiles weren't even. They went like this. And at that point, and this was probably 10, 12, 13 years ago, I wasn't as assertive as I am now because I would have never stood for that now. But I didn't want to hurt their feelings, but I kind of made up an excuse and I said, we needed to stop this, but I would pay them for what they had done up to this point, which was crazy. And he said, well, why are you stopping the job? And I said, well, the tile is sloping down on the wall. I said, that's not the way you're supposed to lay tile. And he said, well, that's maybe not the way you wanted, but that is a way to lay tile. Some people do. And, and basically, finally, I got the bozos out of my house and I paid them off to leave me alone. And, and after that, I remember consciously telling myself this, that when our intuition tells us something, we darn well should listen. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.